Hey girl, hey, it's your girl Candace, and I'm here today to give you a New York City apartment tour. The water's so cold. Alright, guys, so this is the entryway when you first walk through the front door. It's the kitchen, the bathroom, and the living room, which I'm standing in. The bathroom and the kitchen being down here um, make it a little bit easier for guests. So be mindful when you're looking for an apartment where the bathroom is so that your guests don't maybe have to truck through your whole apartment this is the kitchen area so this is a very dated kitchen and i felt like this was the weakest point in the bath in the apartment when i was looking at it i did completely change this apartment um, i'll insert photos of how i decorated it because this tile is so ugly so old and as no matter how much i scrubbed it, it would not come clean so you walk through here, once you leave the bathroom, you have the living room, which goes into the bedroom. The living room doesn't have that great crown molding. All right, boys and girls, so this is the bedroom. This bedroom is a relatively large size, and it has this great detail of molding on it. It has beautiful natural light and two closets. That's where my clock was hanging. And these two closets are the only two closets in the house. Very loud and noisy, but. All right guys, so this is my fourth apartment here in New York City. I'm not here in my apartment, but this is my fourth apartment that I've had in New York. I currently am at my parents' house for a little transition period. Um, I have a big announcement coming up soon. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Um, but this apartment is my last apartment that I lived in. It was the crappiest apartment that I lived in. Not even gonna lie to you guys. Um, but there were things I loved about it, and then there were obviously things I just hated, hated hated about it. what I loved about this apartment was the location was the natural lighting was um, the size so I was really trying to think there um, the size of the apartment was great the natural light that came in on my bedroom was amazing um, and then also the location of where it was at I was the last stop in New Jersey before going into New York so it took me like 10 minutes to get to Port Authority on the poppy bus or the end of transit bus it was so easy to commute in that um, location. The space of this apartment was also great. I found that living in New York, um, you get a little bit of tighter closed areas, but living in right outside in New Jersey, you have a little bit more space. A lot of the buildings are older. All the buildings I lived in have been pre-war buildings um, and they are older buildings, which means they have a lot of quirks, they have a lot of kinks, they have a lot of dips and grooves and whatever. Um, sometimes, because it's a pre-war building, you go get bugs, whether it's the change of the season, whether it's your neighbors, I don't care how clean you keep it, you get bugs. I recommend Home Defense. Um, I sprayed this moving into my apartments, and whenever if I saw a bug, I was like, Ch -ch 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 -ch, clean everything, because I do not, do not do bugs at all. Um, but it wasn't something that I really had to had to deal with, like, all the time, it's mostly around the change of the season. I always, 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 always recommend getting on the top floor of your building, especially if it's a, um, a walk up. Generally, it should be no more than six, six floors. Um, I lived on a fifth floor walk up my first apartment, and then this apartment was a fourth floor walk up. Um, why I say to live on the top floor? One, you don't have to wake up to anybody stumping above you. Trust me, it's not, it's, it's not good. It's not good. Two of my apartments. I had people like above me and it's not that they're stumping it's that they're walking and it sounds like they're elephants um just is in these older buildings i don't know why but it just is so if you're on the top floor you get the most natural light and you don't have to worry about anybody waking you up and you can sneak up to the roof which is what i do multiple times um without anybody being like i think there's somebody up there because you're above your apartment my other cons with this were that the kitchen was just so dated and trashy it was supposed to have had updated cabinetry before i moved in but when i moved in they did not update the cabinetry and when i moved out they did not update the cabinetry the cabinets were kind of collapsing it was crazy and i mentioned it um the landlord was just the scum of the earth i've usually had a really great landlord um experiences but this landlord this resident like this company the scum of all of the earth um 
Um, but the kitchen was very dated and there wasn't much I could do to save it. Um, and the bathroom as well. It was a beautiful clawfoot tub that was perfect for soaking, but they had enclosed it and um, they did a really bad job when they enclosed it. But it was one of those things where it's like, if you're in an apartment, you kind of have to make do with what they give you. These sound like little stupid things, but checking, I grabbed the sink one day when I almost fell out the shower and the whole thing moves because it's not bolted to the wall, which is crazy, but you don't check for those things until you're like trying to brace yourself. Um, I also didn't like about this apartment was there was no laundry room in the building, which means I had to walk a block down flight four flights of stairs and walk blocks to do my laundry so be mindful when you're looking for an apartment if you need a laundry room if you look at it around trash day kind of see how they're maintaining their trash as well because that's going to be a big um, indicator of rodents if they have a rodent issue if there's trash everywhere they're going to have rodents um so no doubt about it we didn't have any in my building luckily but i felt like the way people were treating it it was only a matter of time until you started to see them Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And until next time, peace!